Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're all doing fine my friends. Let's start straight into the content here because Bitcoin is having this breakout out of this symmetrical triangle that we formed here in the last couple of hours. So what we are seeing right now is a successful breakout as expected to the upside and also it looks like that we're gearing up here for this move towards 55 to 60,000 dollar so if you want to trade that over on bybit or femex it's still not too late we have to wait of course now for a four hour close above this previous resistance at 52,000, and then of course all the confirmation that this is the new support here and then have this big leg up towards 60k so here in the four hour time frame, everything is looking like that we are gearing up here for this big move towards this bullish target. We also have a buy signal here in the four hour flashing. If we go over into the three hour time frame, also here you can see that we have already a three hour close above the resistance here and also here a buy signal. We are trading the three hour time frame usually here in my own indicator here. As you can see in my own indicator, we have this buy signal in the three hour, in the one hour we have had this buy signal a little bit earlier and also here you can also see the EMA ribbons which are telling you if we are in an uptrend or downtrend because as long as we are moving above this EMA ribbon then we are in an uptrend and the same goes if we are starting to trade below this ribbon we are back in a downtrend so everything is still looking like that we're going to see continuation to the upside here and in case that we're going to have now this four hour close above fifty two thousand dollar i think we are good to go to the upside but a big warning my friends if you're trading right now with leverage over on bybit and femex the funding rates are currently very high so that's why i'm still not opening up a new long position right now even though of course we're gonna see here continuation to the upside but the funding rates are really very very high my friends and that's why you should be very careful if you're uh, going in with high uh, leverage because like that your funding rates uh, will be of course also very high so the four hour time frame is looking very bullish and we should expect continuation to the upside of course we will come back potentially to retest this fifty two thousand dollar area so the top of the ema ribbons and then of course also cool off a little bit the rsi which is already looking uh, now a bit overbought and if we go over into the daily time frame here you can see that we are still maintaining here the top of the ema ribbons so here where also the nine daily moving average is lining up at around fifty one thousand dollar we're keeping up with this support up here so even though we are still very overbought and uh, there are still some warning signs we could expect now this push towards sixty thousand dollar that is our target here for this potential breakout that we are seeing right now and of course if we go over into the weekly time frame you can see that currently we are trading again above the last weekly close here of forty eight thousand six hundred dollar and if we are able to close this weekly candle above forty eight thousand six hundred dollar then we also should expect continuation to the upside in the next coming week because today also we're going to have a cme close so if the cmes are going to close above this previous weekly close that we had at forty eight thousand dollar then we should be entering bullish in the next week and expect also here continuation to the upside even though of course we are still a bit overbought and we could expect at any time a possible pullback and if we're going to see a major pullback then watch out always at the nine weekly moving average currently here at $38,000 and for the worst case scenario the 20 weekly moving average lining up here right at $26,000 so those are the most bearish scenarios if here somewhere we're gonna get a huge rejection and a huge sell-off maybe here at around 55,000 or at 60,000 dollar if there we're gonna see a massive sell-off that of course is still in the cards since we are very overbought but that wouldn't mean that this is the cycle top of bitcoin if we're gonna see a sell-off then just watch out for these possible supports down here between 26,000 and 37,000 dollar because there i'm expecting then another big huge bounce to the upside and then continuation above 60,000 potentially towards 100,000 
dollar so this is only the worst case scenario if here we're gonna see somewhere a big sell-off or a big profit taking at around sixty thousand dollar i personally am not going to take profits anytime soon because i still think bitcoin has a long way to go to the upside but keep in mind that the pullback is always in the cards when we are overbought like we are right now and when bitcoin moves far away from the 20 and 9 weekly moving average so those are currently here 37,000 and 26,000 dollar keep those price levels in mind if you want to accumulate more bitcoin if we're gonna see somewhere a bigger sell-off but everything is still pointing out that we're gonna see continuation to the upside and we potentially could reach the 60k maybe today or at least during the weekend latest next week especially if we're gonna close today the cm is above 48,000 dollar and if we go over into the ethereum price also here you can see that currently we are trading above the ema ribbons in the four hour time frame so also here on ethereum even though we had here a little sell-off down towards 1900 dollar also here i'm expecting continuation to the upside even though of course also here it is possible that maybe we come back down here to retest this 1800 dollar new support that we have right now and then gear up for a big move to the upside because since we are breaking out from this ascending triangle here in the four hour time frame i'm also pretty confident that in ethereum we're gonna see prices way above two thousand dollar pretty soon so here in the ethereum price it looks like that we maybe could take a little dive here towards one thousand eight hundred dollar but this price level should have enough support right now and there i'm expecting also big bounce to the upside even here the daily you can see that we're still looking very bullish and we should expect also here continuation to the upside so let's see where we're gonna start into this weekend my friends don't forget that on weekends we always have play time and i definitely don't recommend to trade over the weekend of course sometimes we have these pump and dumps where you can also do some nice gains if you're trading during the weekend but be careful because on weekends usually the liquidity is way lower and like that of course the price can do easily big movements and then come back down to where we closed on friday so i always recommend you to trade more safely during monday to friday because like this you're trading when all the traditional markets are trading and in my experience that is always the more safe way to trade also bitcoin so if you want to take this long opportunity then go ahead because we're gonna see this potential 60k target incoming pretty soon if you want to wait for confirmation then just wait here for the next couple of four hour closes here above fifty two thousand dollar. if we are coming down to retest this new support and then move on towards 60k only if we're gonna start to close again four hour candles below fifty two thousand dollar then this was a fake out and we should expect the price to come back down to at least retest this 50k area potentially even come a bit lower towards forty eight thousand the bottom of the ema ribbon here in the four hour because as you can see always when we came back down towards the bottom of the ema ribbon during this uptrend this was always a very good long and buy opportunity for bitcoin even here when we started to consolidate and create this falling wedge it was always good to long as soon as we were dropping below this ema ribbon during an uptrend this ribbon is always holding as a very strong support especially here in the four hour time frame and that's why i always include this indicator in my own discord live stream this indicator is very useful because it's always telling you if we are in an uptrend or a downtrend in the specific time frame that you're watching the chart so with that said guys gonna wrap it up for now a big shout out also to our great crypto trading chat over on discord if you want to join our free discord trading chat then make sure to use the official invitation link down below here in the video description once you clicked it you have to go here to the read first channel and confirm that you're a human and not a bot by just clicking here the thumbs up button and if you're interested in getting access to my own indicator live stream you can contact me here with a private message for a little donation you can get access to this live stream so if you like the content my friends make sure to hit that like button here and also subscribe to the channel i do daily ta videos thank you again very much for your great support and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye